welcome to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install Tinker's Construct in Minecraft 1.12.2. Now I do want to remind you that this video is brought to you by GameServers.com. Go to the breakdown.xyz slash MC server to get an awesome Minecraft server for just $1 per month. That is the first link down below. Go check it out. You won't regret it. We host all of our servers there and you can even get a modded server there and play Tinker's Construct and run a mod pack with your friends if you want to. So check it out. First link down below. Nevertheless, let's get on into the video. So, in order to install Tinker's Construct, we need to download three things. First is Tinker's Construct itself, and this is the second link down below. And when you're on this page, go ahead and click on Files here, and then you want to find 1.12.2, or whatever version you're installing. In this case, it's 1.12.2, so as you can see, 1.12.2 right there. And then we want to click the Download File button right there. It's going to download. We want to keep it. This has been downloaded by almost 30 million people, this specific version by 60. 62,000. I promise it is safe. So, we've got that downloaded. Now, we're not done yet. We also need to download Mantle. Now, you might be asking, why do I need this? Well, this is the backbone for Tinker's Construct to work. If it doesn't have Mantle, Tinker's Construct won't work at all. It just will say error when you launch into it. So, to download Mantle, go to the third link down below. It'll take you here, where you want to go to Files, and then you also want to confirm 1.12 here. Now, 1.12 Mantle works for version 1.12.2, so that's why you're seeing that. You don't have to worry about it. If it says 1.12 there, you're good. Then you can click the Download File button right there. You want to keep that file. This one's been downloaded 1.5 million times. And then, last but not least, we need to do a third download, which is Forge, which is the fourth link down below. Go down there, click that it will take you to here which is actually our text tutorial for installing forge however we want to download it so we want to click on the big green download forge button here it'll take us off to minecraft forge where again we need to confirm 1.12.2 is the version again if you're installing another version that's fine but this is for 1.12.2 you can confirm that over here as well make sure that's bold and if it is, go ahead and click on the Installer button under Download Latest. Click Installer, takes you off to here where you don't want to click anything on the page. Do not click anything on this page, period, except the skip button up here in the top right whenever it comes up. It's going to take it about 5 to 10 seconds to come up, and once it does, click skip. Don't click anything else on the page. You want to keep the file. It's safe. It's been downloaded millions of times, just like everything else we went over here. But then we want to close add focus here, right? Close out of that. And now if we minimize on our desktop, we have three, all right, one, two, three different things. Now, if these aren't your desktop, don't worry. They're probably in your downloads folder. To get there, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time. Type in downloads, just like that. Hit enter, and they'll be in here. Drag them to your desktop for ease of use, but mine are already on the desktop. Stop. So, before we can install Tinker's Construct and Mantle, we need to work on Forge. To do that, simply right click on it, open with Java TM Platform SC Binary. It will then open up this handy little mod installer where you want to click on Install Client and then click OK. It'll go through, download some things, do some stuff, and successfully install Client Profile Forge. Awesome. Click OK there, drag this to the side, whatever. Now we want to actually install Tinker's Construct and Mantle. To do that, hit the Windows key on your keyboard and R at the exact same time again. Pulls up the Run folder where we then want to type in percent %appdata percent percent app data percent hit enter it opens up a roaming where then want to go into dot minecraft and you should have a mods folder but nick i don't have a mods folder what do i do don't freak out calm down it's okay just right click create a new folder and title it mods mods all lowercase exactly like that simple and easy then open up your newly created mods folder and drag tinker's construct and mantle into it right like that Boom, there you go. Now we can go ahead and launch up into Minecraft. Now, I do want to meet you in the Minecraft launcher here instead of on the main menu because there's some things we need to change. Now, once we're on the Minecraft launcher here, we want to make sure the Forge profile is selected by clicking the little green arrow next to the play button and then clicking on Forge. Now, if you launch into the game and it doesn't work, it gives you an error or something like that, the first thing you need to do is come back to the Minecraft launcher exactly where we are at here, make sure Forge is the profile selected, but go over to Launch Options before clicking play. Then you want to click on the Forge profile here, and then next to version, click on this drop down and find the most recent version of Forge that you have installed. In my case, that's going to be 1.12.2 and then 2618, right? That's the newest version number. Click on that, click save, 
Come back over to here, make sure that is selected 2618, and then you can click play. It will now open up Minecraft 1.12.2 with Tinker's Construct installed. It can take a while to open up, so don't freak out if it does, but once it gets up and running, it's, uh, it's just downloading some things, doing some stuff, and getting things installed. I'll see you guys in the main menu. Once you're on the main menu, there are a few different ways to see that Tinker's Construct is in fact working. Mods is, is one easy way. If you click on mods there, you should be able to see both Mantle right there and Tinker's Construct right there. So those are obviously installed. Another way is to just jump into a world. I'm going to jump into a quick creative world. I actually don't have any creative worlds, do I? Let's just make one real quick. And I'm going to show you that Tinker's Construct has all the stuff in there from the stuff to build the smeltery to the stuff to build the, you know, tools and all that. There's so much that this adds. I absolutely love Tinker's Construct, and there you go. We got materials in you. So you can see here all of the stuff that Tinker's Construct does, all of that stuff, right? But if we go into creative here, we can also go over and see Tinker's tools and all of the awesome tools that Tinker's Construct adds. Guys, this is definitely my favorite mod ever. I love Tinker's Construct. I was introduced to it in the FTB mod pack back in the day, and I, since then, it's, it's hard for me to play single player Minecraft without at the very least having Tinker's Construct installed because it is just such a fun mod. It adds so much awesome stuff to the game. Nevertheless, please do remember to subscribe to the channel if you want more awesome Minecraft content every single week. We post a ton of it here. You will not be disappointed. Also, be sure to like the video, all that awesome stuff. I'm Nick, this has been The Breakdown, and I'm out, guys. Peace.